With the midterm elections coming up, some Democrats have been playing politics with the Ebola scare, blaming Republicans for the outbreak. The Centers for Disease Control suffers from the continued gridlock in Washington uh, and Republicans not funding fully, uh, even though the fight against Ebola is bipartisan. The role that the, play, that the CDC plays in uh, preventing the outbreak of, of disease uh, is critically important and it certainly is um, disappointing uh, that Republicans, uh, at least to this point, uh, haven't shared that uh, commitment to uh, investing in those kinds of critically important programs. The CDC says its discretionary funding has been cut by 585 million since 2010. Drama. All right, but there's one problem. It's not true. Yeah. The Washington Post gave the attacks four Pinocchios, calling them absurd, citing there was never even a specific vote on funding to prevent Ebola. Now, what are you going to do when the facts get in the way of a good spin, Mr. Bowling? So here's the real number. By the numbers, the NIH budget is $30.4 billion this year, and that's right. up from $17 billion in 2000. So is it off the high? Yeah, it's off the high. President Obama bumped it up by $9 billion the year of the stimulus, and that pushed it up, and it's, it's trailed off a little bit, but it's still substantially more increased. It's almost up 100% in 15 year, 14 years. So they can't really go there on that one. But if the NIH is complaining, and the director of the NIH did complain about funding, if they're so concerned about funding, I have a couple of things that they spend money on, if you want to hear them. New condom designs. New condom designs, 2.4 million. Are chimps Wait. right or left-handed? 592,000. Uh -huh. And do male fruit flies prefer younger female companions? 939,000. What was pages the answer? I, I, I think you're right. I th it was yes, by the way. Uh, I have two more pages of these. Right. There are literally probably billions of dollars that they spend annually on things, on these studies like this. That if they're really worried about funding for Ebola, maybe they should move some money away from those and into back that, to That's Ebola. really distressing. Think about the condoms, too. I couldn't agree with you. All right, Bob. What? Don't be yourself. <laughs> Let's save it for 6 o'clock. The other know. point about this, Kim, oh, I'm yeah. sorry, you want to go to Greg? Go ahead. But they, um, how much money do they need to have common sense enough to tell a nurse that she shouldn't fly if she has a fever after treating the That's sick man hard. with Ebola? Right. Okay, that, I don't understand. How much money could we throw at that problem that it would have been solved? And, and that is something that they will never be able to answer. The bureaucratic elite will never be able to answer that, but they will always ask for more money, and they'll always complain that Republicans cut their money, even if it's not true, and the media falls for it every single time. Well, it, and here's the other thing. There are no consequences to Democrats. When they lie like this, they put up an ad, there's four Pinocchios. You know, we'll maybe talk about it here, but every other Democrat just shuts up and moves on as if it didn't happen. Well, yeah, that's, that, no this, is, this is election caught, season. Whatever. I mean, you, you know, you use what you've got in front of you. I, don't, I agree that it's probably a pretty... Uh, Nasty ad, but if you're in a tight race and you're going to put that out there, a lot of people are not going to go with the facts, as you point out. That's politics, and, and it's been done on both sides. So I, not on this one, but uh, but the Democrats have jumped on this. But look, the Democrats are behind, and, and they're going to use what they've got. And I don't particularly blame them for doing that. And that was a message from our sponsor. Anything goes, Bob, as long as you win. Okay, Greg. No, uh, Ebola is a human issue. It is not a political issue. But unfortunately, we live in a time and we work in an atmosphere where politics is sport. Mm -hmm. And politics really, in my opinion, makes anything better. It, it rarely <laughs> makes anything better. It, it, it tends to clog up uh, y your common sense. It clouds the truth. We know that it's, it's not about cuts. It's about spending. If you increase spending, you still have no faith that that money is ever going to go to where it's going to go. Eric's pointed out the idiocy. Uh, in Frieden, of course, he spent so much time going after smokers, and people are smoking now more in New York than ever. Um, I think, I don't know. I blame, I blame Dr. Keith Ablo. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. Yeah, I, you can't spell Keith Ablo without Ebola. <laughs> try it, try it. But you know what? It's the, conse it. co the consequences of political ideology are everywhere. When you have the White House and you have the media and you have politicians focusing on, say, a single fatality in Ferguson for two solid months, which, by the way, was a very important story. But the writhing obsession sapped a country of its yep. focus on other issues. And this happens. It's a very imp that, what happened in Ferguson was very important. But what happened over those two months were other things that occurred. But the media wasn't interested in it because we were focused on what we believed was the, the biggest story of the year. All right, well, I don't mean to be like a wet blanket, but Ablo doesn't have an E on the end of you, it, and you, Ebola has Dr. Keith, to, like, buy a vowel a wet from on the story. E. <laughs> okay, coming up. Buy a vowel. 